Hello, uh, this is one of the engineer sessions. Today I'm going to cover uh, how to use a data template to conduct your conjoint analysis. Right? So this is the engineer site and I already logged in so you can click dashboard and you can find your own version here student version uh, international marketing at Texas State select it all right so uh, to conduct your own conjoint analysis I'm going to use a template right uh, the uh, example case uh, data set so I can I already uh, downloaded from Canvas. Okay, you can find it on on Canvas, and please download it onto your computer so that you can load onto this engineers, right? So you can click load and upload an Excel spreadsheet, and uh, um, it's here because I already downloaded it. Open it. Yes. Okay, here. So this is the uh, familiar uh, example data set we used for conjoint analysis, right? We may not touch other things, but only three tables, right? Conjoint design and customer ratings and existing competitors, right? So I will make some changes on that, right? Uh, to make make it simple uh, I will use only three attributes and two levels right uh, but can, but you can you can have more attributes and levels right in your uh, final analysis right but uh, let me make it simple so I will remove one column here and I'll remove one column one row here right so I need to change the uh, names of attributes uh, I can leave the levels here right so the actual uh, data entry is a1 and a2 b1 b2 and c1 c2 right so this is the conjoint design simple uh, entries right I use only uh, symbols here right but you may have uh, actual names for the entries and uh, names of the attributes right and secondly I need to change the uh, customer ratings make sure that you change all the video uh, attribute name first right if you don't do this right you may have uh, error sign right and I can delete the one column here Yes, I will leave the all the ratings. I just can use the current ratings here, right? Just to have random result, right? That's fine. And also, uh, I need to delete many uh, rows because I I will only use uh, three respondents, and uh, combinations uh, the number of combinations from the table is eight. I already had the eight combinations and uh, copied it. Uh, but I need to delete the rows first. I use only 24 rows. Uh, 8 multiplied by 3, right? 3 respondents. That's uh, what I will do. Right? It's almost, yeah. So 25, right? Yes. Uh, remove rows not column rows okay so I have 24 rows here right so one respondent number one will uh, answer eight from nine it's two number two respondent number two right from 16 it's respondent number three
and uh, from the copy I made uh, previously right I can have I can highlight the eight cell and uh, I will click control and read together to paste it right these are eight combinations right from the uh, conjuring design right sometimes you don't have to use all the possible combinations from the conjuring design you can have a uh, selection right you can select like some of the combinations or bundles however the important thing is make sure that uh, you have all, all the uh, combinations or bundles different each other I do not have any combination or bundle same with other any of combinations right so eight combinations of bundles are all different at least in one attribute right so I will copy the same set for the uh, second respondents uh, yeah make sure that you highlighted the uh, the correct uh, area and paste by clicking uh, Control and V. Yes, and do that for the respondent number three. Same thing. Yeah, as I said, I will leave all the ratings right, just random ratings, right? So I will have random results actually meaningless, right? But at least I, I have some result, right. And the third table, to make sure everything has been changed, right? Including the names of the attributes. The third table uh, I will work on is existing competitors, right? First, change the attribute name. So for three tables, right, you need to have exactly the same names for the attributes. And I need to remove one column. And names of... Comparators xx, yy, and their name, right? And combination is a1, a2, b2, b2, c2, c2, c1. Anyway, I random randomly make two uh, profiles for the comparators xx and yy, right? And that. Make sure that two are included in the set two. Right? Uh, let me check. One to two. One to two, right? Uh, the fourth one is x axis, right? And two to one, two to one. Seventh one is y y y is right. So I have two in the whole combination or bundle set. The problem. So I think I'm ready for the analysis, right? But after changing three tables. So click uh, conjoint analysis. Analysis, design, yeah, design. And uh, I use product ratings, so customer ratings. Yeah. And I will run simulations to get the uh, expected uh, market share. So uh, with the uh, existing product, yes, existing competitors. I have. Uh, let me choose first choice rule this time, not not share of preference, right? First choice, and not uh, existing pro products only, but let me use with optimal products. I don't have new product uh, table here, but you know the software will automatically calculate optimal products and. Uh, let me choose uh, one from the optimal products, right? I think uh, it's all set. Okay, so I can run it. Great. Uh, it was successful, so show report. All right. Uh, you know, uh, explaining the results is not the purpose of uh, this video clip. So let me, however, uh, here B, B1 is the most important, right? Because part word is greater here, right? B1 and uh, A2, they are 
important uh, levels. Uh, B, A, right? C, that's the order of importance of the attributes, right? Uh, and between X, X, and Y, Y, right? Uh, y, Y has more market shares, <coughs> about 67%, right? Y, Y is the market leader, and we can add our product. Whoa, we can have 100% here. I think that it's because we have A1, uh, B, B, B2, B2, A1, right? B2, A1, right? Let's see. Yeah, B1, A2, B1, A2. Let's see. Here, optimal number one set. Uh, not here. B1, A, A2. Uh, and... Ah, we because we, we don't have uh, B1, uh, B2, A1 here in the set. B2, A1. B2, A1. It should be B2, A1, right? Ah, B1, A, I'm sorry. B1, A2. B1, A2. B1, A2. Yeah, B1, A2 here, right? So it has two, you know, two of the most important, uh, two most important uh, attribute levels here so naturally <laughs> it can have it's not realistic but it can have 100 percent market share why not right we can choose this one right to you know beat all the competitors and and you know gain the market core market it's great right <laughs> right this is it for today right so now you can use the uh, template file to you know, make the uh, conjoint analysis by yourself, right? Right, thank you very much.